Today we're taking a look at the brand new 2017 Roku Ultra. Now this one includes a voice remote with the ability to turn on and off the volume of the TV. It also drops the um, optical audio out. According to Roku, they decided that it wasn't um, worth it for the number of people using it. They and it probably played a part in lowering the price of this device. It's now just $99, the same price as the old Roku Premier. So you get all the benefits of a Roku Ultra at basically the price of a Roku Premier. We're gonna do a little unboxing real quick. I got a 2016 Roku Ultra sitting right here too. We're gonna to do a side-by-side -side comparison, let you know what's different, what's new. In the same video, about halfway through, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison here to let you know um, how much faster it really is. But Right off the bat, you got the actual 2017 Roku Ultra right here. You still have the quick call button right here. You press that button, it makes your um, Roku start chirping, which is, or Roku remote, excuse me, um, which is great. I love the ability to find mi um, missing remotes. When I have a four year old, she loves to lose the remote. And this is an excellent way to do that. Let me take off this plastic real quick so we can take a look at everything that comes with it. All right, so right off the bat, you got the um, Ethernet right here. You have a micro SD card. You have HDMI power. And on the side, you still have the USB um, right there. So it's pretty nice. You do have a nice rubber bottom on that. Let's kind of jump in here and look at it. The rubber bottoms appear to be the same. Let me see here. And there we go, there's a good um, angle on that. And you can see that really the only thing different here is the optical audio on the 2017 version. This is a sticker here, which will, looks like it comes off. Slightly altered body. I don't know if I can really get this in the camera. This seems to be a deeper black. Um, let's see here, probably easier if I do it this way. There we go. Yeah, they're pretty much the exact same, except that this, the 2017 version, is a deeper black. And there's like a slight, edge or rim to this on the plastic. I guess it's kind of there in the newer one, just not quite a print of file. Now I'm just being very nitpicky. Um, beyond that, everything else seems to be the same. So let's keep on going here. Next up you have the starter guide. Not much to say about that. And then you have the remote. Now this is still a point anywhere um, wireless radio remote, so you don't need line of sight. It does have the IR blaster, and that is for the new ability to control the volume of your TV and turn your TV on and off. Um, but there is some minor changes to the button layouts. Um, you can see a uh, slightly different uh, layout here, uh, like Sling and Hulu swapped on it. Now I got this one at Walmart. This is the 2017 version, so it's got Voodoo. Now, non-Walmart versions will have a different button here. Walmart struck a deal that when you buy them, they will include their quick button on it from Walmart. Um, and then past that, you notice the power button, the volume buttons are, are there. Uh, the larger play button, which I really love the fact that you got the ability there to um, have play pause just more easily accessible. The icons for the search buttons, this makes it more clear that it's a voice search. Um, and past that, everything else seems to be pretty much similar. The binds feel the same, and the layout is the same. So, very similar on that right there. Not really a lot to say about it. It does still retain the headphone jack, which seems to be in a tiny bit different position. I wanna say there's a tiny different roundness to it, maybe just a little bit. We'll have to play around with that and see. Let's keep going here. You have the power buttons, or power cord, excuse me. Headphones with extra earbuds. Batteries for the remote, which is pretty cool. Increasingly, people are not including the batteries. So, Duracell. Not for resale, I don't think I've ever noticed that on those batteries before. So yeah, that is it. The 2017 Roku Ultra. I'm now gonna go Test it all out, hook it up, do a little bit of side by side. So hang tight, I'll be right. So hang well, I've been playing around with the new Roku 2017 Roku Ultra for a little while now, and I've been impressed. It's a very easy setup. Uh, Roku, the volume and the power on the TV just did it itself. I didn't have to do anything on my end other than confirm that it had properly programmed it. 
So that was pretty cool. Set up in a couple minutes, even auto logged me into Amazon, Hulu, Sling, and others. So that was pretty cool. But I'm gonna do a little head to head here. I could show you the Roku OS interface. It is the Roku OS 8 already. I did a full video on that. I'll link to it down below with all the updates in the Roku OS 8. But there's not really a lot to see there if you've already watched that. So I decided let's go head to head here. On the right is the Roku 2016 Roku Ultra. On the left is the 2017 Roku Ultra. So I just wanted to kind of show you the speed improvements so you can make a decision on if you want to upgrade or not. Let's start off with Netflix here. Kind of jump in here. You can see right off the bat, it quickly launched. Let's do a quick family guy, head to head. See which one. You see the new one, just a minor bit faster here. Let's try something else here. Let's go to Fuller House. I'm gonna launch it and then I'm gonna let autoplay take over and let's see which one takes effect. The new one, the 2017 version. The older one for some reason did not even um, start autoplay. Let's kind of go into that. Yeah, definitely a noticeable improvement on the 2017 Roku Ultra. Let's do this one last time here. And there's really no argument. The 2017 Roku Ultra is noticeably faster. Let's use um, Amazon next and kind of give you an idea. You know what? Because I've been reloading a bunch of channels, it's reloading Amazon. So let's back out here real quick. We're almost done. And you see though, very fast process. This probably won't happen for most people. I have like a hundred Roku channels on this device because of reviewing. Um, so that's probably, excuse me, 75 according to that. So that's probably not gonna affect most people. Of course, if you don't wanna ever see that, you can always get a micro SD card, install it there, so it will have more memory for more channels. I find that starts happening around 70 some Roku channels. Most people I find though don't install 70 Roku channels. All right, let's get into Amazon, take a look at this. A little head to head here, see who's got the uh, better performance. So the older version this time, just a tiny bit faster. Let's uh, jump into their Jack Ryan. This is a bunch of preview episodes that they're releasing. Give you an idea here. So the newer one actually started playing faster. A little slower load up on the, uh, on the first menu, but definitely notice that it launched faster on the newer one. Let's jump into Sling. Again, just a tiny bit faster there. These are both on the same um, wireless network. It's 100 down, so more than capable of doing both of these. Let's quickly launch in. And yeah, definitely a noticeable um, speed difference there. Let's do NBC Sports. We'll see which one comes up first. Hopefully I'm not freaking out sling. This is the longest I've ever seen it load. You may back out here and try this again. Did I freak it out? I must have freaked out sling somehow trying to access two one simultaneously like that. I've never seen that happen before. But hey, that's why we do these live recorded um, head to heads. There we go. So I wanna show you one thing here. You notice how there's a slight lag delay here? The speed of your streaming player, a lot of people ask me about delays too. You know, I want my sports to be as live as possible. Getting a faster streaming player will help with that. A lot of that delay is on your end with your internet. If it's slower, it buffers longer. If your player is slower loading it, it means you're farther behind. So let's kind of jump in here one more time. And just, I don't know why. I think it's because I don't typically do this and Sling for some reason is freaking out about having multiple um, ones on my account trying to do that. Let's do this last uh, test here. Um, nope, I, I've got all sync here. I want to do a system reboot on that. System restart, system restart. All right, last test right now. Let's do a restart and see who can get back up live fastest. And this would be a good idea um, of the performance of it going from off to streaming on a Netflix or something. 
Again, the new Roku Ultra does just seem to be faster. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here. My prediction is the 2017 Roku Ultra will be noticeably faster. So, all right, here's the menu. It's connecting to the network still. Waiting for the Wi-Fi, there we go. Let's launch Netflix. I bet I can make it into Netflix if it hurries before the 2016 version finishes its boot up. It's gonna be close though. There you go. I'm into Netflix before it finishes boot up on the older version. So, all right, well, there you go. Head to head, I would say if you want speed, if you're somebody who wants, you know, the shortest amount of delay on your live stream, the 2017 Roku Ultra is noticeably faster. There is a distinct difference between the two. So I would upgrade if speed is important to you. The ability to control the volume, as you can see here, because it's both LGs, I can control both with the same Roku remote. That's pretty cool. Ability to power on and off the TV is pretty cool. So I would say it is worth upgrading the Roku Ultra 2017 from the 2016 version. Questions, comments, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. But overall, I'm very impressed. If you have a question about cord cutting in general though, visit us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We do a, a weekly Q&A right here on YouTube to answer your cord cutting related questions and help you get the most out of your cord cutting experience. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, youtube.com slash cordcarsnews. Find us at cordcarsnews.com or on Twitter at Facebook, just search for Cord Cutters News. Thank you for watching.